All right, so immediate thoughts on the Black Ops 6 campaign. I woke up at 5.30 this morning, uh, got to playing at 6 a.m., and I just finished at 12.20. So, yeah, it took me just a little bit over six hours to complete the campaign. In terms of length, I could have made the campaign go longer. You can easily, easily get seven, eight, nine, ten hours out of this game. With how massive uh, some of the maps are, with uh, tackling it in different ways and things of that nature, of course you can extend it. That, that wasn't my point. My point was to get the story, right? And to be quite honest with you, it's started off great now before we dive into some of the details here we're not going to talk spoilers i'm going to dance around the story beats of the game uh what i am going to talk a little bit about is what i liked i guess and and really what i liked is the cinematics looked sick they looked like out of a movie like they were one of the crispiest cinematics that i've ever freaking seen they look really 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 good and i can tell that the game took four years of development because call of duty black ops 6 takes risks you know if, if you wanted something a little bit more riskier different than modern warfare 3 it's night and day i mean if you go and play the modern warfare 3 campaign and then you come and play black ops 6 campaign it destroys it in every way possible the first few missions were really really good they were good in the espionage way you can plan and, and kind of find ways to uh, tackle the missions and, and everything just seems really cool. You got Woods talking to you in your in your ear. You got other members of the team talking to you and you and you guys are feeling like a unit. They did expand on the open combat missions that we got in MW3. Now, initially, I didn't like that. I, I thought, you know, this is going to feel bad. I, I don't want to do that because I was thinking if they were going to be similar to the MW3 open combat missions, which were just a rehash of Warzone assets and whatnot. But this one was completely different. Uh, they rebuilt every like every mission was built from the ground up and so it felt like a proper game even though they were kind of semi-open world or whatever and it was just really cool to kind of do that uh there was also a mission in particular where we're in q8 and it the map opens up and you're riding a car and you got all of your teammates on it and you guys are like tackling some missions you can tackle some side missions help out other soldiers and it's massive when i say it's massive it reminded me of naughty dogs uncharted 4 level when you kind of opened up uh, in the the desert i can't remember where you were in uncharted but you start navigating and and, and looking and looking for stuff with uh drake and sully and i just thought wow it took me literally to that moment and i was just thinking like this game is really freaking good the story itself was and still is a bit confusing i'm gonna have to decipher it and and, and watch the cinematics over and over again and, and work that out in my head but overall it was decent um the story itself i guess to go back on that point is and these are raw thoughts there's no script there's nothing i'm just talking right now to you guys as so, at like 15 minutes after i finished the game in like just right off the bat i think i'd give the 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 story like a five or four out of ten and i'm not this isn't indicative of the game levels or the fun factor because it was fun um and and different but there was just something about the story that just i don't know that it clicked all that much for me there's still there's still some questions to be answered there's still some open endness to uh everything and and and, and yeah so like again i'm not gonna get too deep into that right now because otherwise we'll go into spoiler territory but where i was disappointed was every call of duty black ops has one mission that just pisses me off for cold war it was the vietnam mission that we kept doing over and over again before we found out bell's identity that one just pissed me off because it was like i'm doing the same thing over and over and over again in different ways and i was just tired of it and so in black ops 6 we get a mission i think it was called emergence where we go into this place called the Cradle or something. It's in Kentucky. Um, you never actually see outside. You're just inside of a building. And that building, without like without any ma major spoilers, uh, we saw in the trailer that there was like some zombie element to the campaign. Well, some stuff happened there regarding zombies. And I won't go deep into it or the details of it, but holy shit did it piss me off now the positives of that campaign are that there was an element of horror if you've ever played remedies control it felt like remedies control like i could see control having a massive massive influence on emergence as a mission i mean it was like i can't even i can't tell you guys how similar it was and i loved the game control it was a different type of horror in black ops 6 like imitated a little bit of that put their own spin on that and they gave you for that particular mission it was like a horror game did i personally like that no because i don't like horror games i don't i don't play uh, call of duty campaigns to experience horror and i'm not talking like the war i'm not talking that type of horror i'm talking about like 
scary jump scares or 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 zombies mode you know i'm not i'm not in there i'm not playing campaign because i want to play zombies there's some people out there that hate zombies and if they get to this part in the campaign i think some of you guys are going to be pissed off pissed off i mean because it's not a walk in the park either like it's not a walk in the park to get through some of these god sorry it's not a walk in the park to get through that particular mission. And it's somewhere in the middle of the game where that happens. You find out some pretty cool things, like some important uh, lore about some characters. But it never gets addressed again after that. Low key, it doesn't. Like, maybe I missed something. Again, I got to go over this. But I, I don't understand what the hell was going on. I understand what the character meant to that mission. I understand what it involved. But what was the point? Now I know that, but now what happens now, right? And I don't know that it was ever addressed again. So after that mission, I, I, I was, it took me like an hour and 15 minutes to complete by itself. And I'm thinking to myself like, holy shit, man, that mission was awful, god awful, because it just, it, it, it shot the pacing right in the kneecaps. Like they shot my boy Woods, like the pacing was up, 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 up. And then you hit this mission and it kind of like, oh, it, you forget that you're playing campaign and you think you forget you're playing campaign. You think you're playing zombies or a horror game. Um, and then when it, the mission finally finished, uh, we moved on to some other stuff and, and, and it seemed to get a little bit better. We started rolling again. We started picking up momentum. Um, everything's getting cool. We play this awesome, awesome mission when we get to see another friendly face from, uh, uh, Cold War, and it's in I, it's in Kuwait, and it's in an airport, and it just felt military. It felt 1990s. It was so freaking cool. One of my favorites. It might have been my favorite mission. And then right after that, we end up heading back to Verkuda because we always got to go back to Verkuda in Black Ops games, and we get this massive mission that just was a pain in the ass to complete. And it was because it was an open open combat mission it felt like one similar to the mw3 with captain price where you're kind of trying to get the the gas that's dangerous it's basically that mission in black ops and it's in vorkuda and there's snow and again there's different ways you can tackle it but it just seemed very like che let, let's check off a list let's check off a list let's check off a list that's what it felt like it felt like we have to you got to get one two and three you got to get all of those three things and you got to move on and i get it but it became repetitive because we did a little bit of that in other missions but after that mission, we get more more zombies, more horror again, a bunch of hallucinations with uh, a certain character to try to find their background. I can't I'm not going to tell you if it's a boy or a girl because, you know, you might decipher it there. But you're trying to find out their background and their history and why it happened. And so you go into their mind and it just turns once again into a horror game. It turns into a horror game for like oh, another hour, another hour. So it's like you got like. The game is about six hours and a half, six hours and a half long if you're like kind of just going through the main missions. And three of those hours is maybe hallucinations, maybe zombies, maybe horror. So it just felt like two completely different games. And I kind of didn't, I didn't like some of that stuff because I was expecting that we're going to see Saddam Hussein. We're going to see these other members of history and we're going to be tearing up some secret operative missions and yada, yada, yada. But it was a lot of it was a little of that a, a, a good chunk of that but then you had a bunch of you know a bunch of zombies and hallucinations and um altered personalities um like a evil version of a person right like you have a you literally have a character that you see that you know and then there's an evil version of that person and their face is all messed up and they got red eyes and they're telling you like, no, you come here, you're going to do this. And I'm like, what the fuck is going on here? What the fuck are we doing? I thought this was a military game. I thought we were, what, the, what? You know what I'm saying? Like Cold War dabbled in that. Black Ops 6 indulges in it. Black Ops 6 bathes in horror, in hallucinations, in like that sci-fi stuff. You know, and, and it's up to you to decide whether it's good or bad. It's up to you to decide whether that's your cup of tea or not. I kind of know my fan base that I have here on this channel, and I know that they're really like hardcore when it comes to the campaign. A lot of them really just want campaign stuff, like cool military things. You get a little bit of that, but you get a lot of something else. So I don't know how it's going to go over with other people. Um, 
I love video games. I'm not just a Call of Duty head. You know, I'm not, I'm, it's not the only, I play a bunch of story modes. I have so many story games that I've played. So this reminded me of a lot of different things. I can tell that the game took a long time to make. I can tell that they put four hard years. I can tell that a lot of things were thought out very meticulously. I can tell that they took freaking risks. You know, it might be one of the Call of Duties that took uh, more risk than I can remember, to be quite honest with you. It was cool and it was a little fun. It was fun. Like, you know, it is what it is. There's a lot of stuff that I did not like though. It's not exactly what I expected it to be, but I'm not going to, sh- you know, I'm not going to shit on it. I-, I am going to talk in detail about the stuff that I did not like in the other videos. Don't worry. But as far as my raw thoughts, that's what they are. I, I-, I hope I didn't divulge too much. Um, I'm going to go over the story and I'm going to try to figure out some stuff and, you know, we'll be making up some other videos as we go along. But yeah, Call of Duty Black Ops 6, not what I expected, you know, good or bad. I don't know if I had to give it a rating, pff, raw thoughts, seven out of ten right? Seven out of 10, just three points off because of the story was in a direction that I just couldn't, uh, I don't know. And the seven points was because everything else was fun. You know, it was good gameplay and whatnot, but uh, I think seven out of 10. Mm -hmm.